What's up, what's up, y'all? It's me, Tree Bad. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's all right. It's kind of dewy out here. It's not really raining. Um, it's more like misting. Yeah. Nice kind of time. Now, I'm going to talk about these YouTube streets right now. Y'all. <laughs> yeah. It is drizzling out here, but it's not that crazy. And you might be like, if you have a cold tree, why in the hell are you walking in mist? Eh, because I can. I feel better. I need to walk. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's hop to it. I walked through these YouTube streets and I realized I got haters. Now, triggers is one thing. Respect those. But I got haters. Like, I just saw a video and somebody mentioned my name. Now, I could tell y'all from experience, me experiencing me. I don't have a lot of patience and I have zero tolerance for bullshit. It's true. And when I deal with people that I don't know, I try to be very respectful and how I come at them. With the understanding that I do not know the full totality of things, situations, places, and people. However, and because of that, when I do see fuck shit and people ask me to speak on it, I will do so. Mm. I try to be nice about it nowadays. I never was before. And it's funny because, you know, people on these YouTube streets really want to pull that out of you. They want you to go back to the past, that old self, or that normal self for them. You know. So when I hear people speak my name, and I mean literally speak my name, It's like, what do you do? You get on the horn, defend yourself, rant and rave, victim roll sometimes, a little bit of gaslighting to try to appease some people, play a little politician on the side, you know? You wanna hurt the people that hurt you so bad? Should I go those routes? Do those routes make a sense? Well, actually they do. They do make sense in the mind of the person that is going through their emotions, their perceptions. But what do I do? Do I follow suit? Do I let this person be the person that brings out that dragon in me. Mm. Are they worth it? Am I worth it? You see, in me doing yana yoga, I had to do a lot of meditation. I had to use a lot of these techniques that were in these books. So I really had to inquire about myself. And like I told y'all, I ain't perfect, right? Not at all. I make mistakes all the time. I'm really not here to teach you shit. Really not. If you learn something, that's great though. Yeah. Let's go back to it. Now I could play these roles really well because I've been in these roles before in my lifetime. But 
me going back to those things right there. Seems weird. And I'll tell you why. See, when you do self-inquiry, you need to have a lot of different elements. And not elements to please or appease other people, and not even elements that appease and please yourself. Because I gotta put y'all on to a little secret here. Ain't nobody on this earth stands alone. There's only one thing in this entire universe that can truly stand alone. Listen to me. There's only one thing in this universe that can truly stand alone. And that's the truth, okay? The truth can stand alone all day, all night. For eons, dust and dirt and muck and grime and all kind of sugar, honey, iced tea on it. It's still standing there, waiting for you to see it, hiding in plain sight. It's okay. All you got to do is wipe the eyes, open up them ears, tune into a different connection, and then you might see something or hear something or acknowledge something. But there's certain things that I have learned from my younger years that I do take into now, especially being the first official day of my solar return. I do not argue with children. I put them over my knee and beat their ass. I'm old school. Bitches hate to be ignored. And I will not argue with those who are mentally challenged. We'll get to that another day. Because there is one mentally per, uh, challenged person that I just have no sympathy for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right there. Um, yeah. And sometimes, you know, when you give people advice, it's best that you take it into yourself. Let's get back to these YouTube streets. Focus. So here's the kicker. I don't have to be bothered by people that put, they, put my name in their mouth, okay? I can sit here and tell y'all happy haters is good, and that means that, you know, people's checking in and boo, boo, boo. Fuck all that. I can't control what other people say. I can't control what other people do, no matter how much I would love to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be a god, y'all. What I can do is control my choices. Do I have a reaction? Should I have a reaction? And what should that reaction be? That's first level of questions right there. The second level is, what is really the problem here? Is the problem the person saying my name? Is the problem lumping me up with all kinds of extra shit? Is the problem, what the fuck is the problem? The real problems is the feelings or the emotions that I associate with this shit that I can't control. What am I do, go fight a bitch? Come on, man. This the internet here. I ain't got that much energy, nor do I have the money. Okay? Fuck all that. Am I angry? Sure. Do I want to defend myself? Sure. Do I feel like I'm wrong? I'm wrong. I'm being wronged. You know, someone has wronged me for even putting my name up in their mouth and who the who and all that extra shit. Sure. But you know that, you know what, sorry. You know what, y'all? I've come to realize this time around doing my yana yoga that I'ma surrender to that extra shit. 
I'm gonna surrender to that. I don't give a fuck about that. What I do give a fuck about is how I take what I'm feeling and transform that into something greater. Ain't nothing wrong with me being angry. Ain't nothing wrong with me wanting to defend myself, this, that, this. But if I do that, who, who, who does that impress? Does that impress me? Not really. I already know what's good. Or do I fall into the trap of, oh, I'm going to expose myself now in order for, to prove that they're wrong. And I'm right. get the fuck out of here, son. I'm not playing y'all game. Those who want to see, going to see. Those who don't want to see, don't want to see. Because guess what? Your eyes can't see clearly when it's too dark, and they damn sure can't see too clearly when it's too much light in your fucking eye. All right? Remember that. And if you want to know the truth, you're going to search for it. You're going to find out. I ain't got to prove nothing to you. I ain't got to play politician. I ain't got to do all this extra shit for what? Clicks and views? Burp, burp. Yo, I'm so low level on the totem pole of having subscribers or even people donating to me. It's not even funny. But I guess I have to take it as a compliment that people hold me in a high enough regard to speak my name. I have that much potential as a channel holder or even a content creator to hold some weight in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know what kind of compliment that really is, but hey, I gotta take compliments a lot better, right? So I ain't gonna say no name and all this extra bullshit. Who gives a fuck? Nobody gives a fuck. Well, maybe you do, but I can no longer give a fuck. I can really just laugh at it. And I can really just push on, you know? No more victim role and all this. Oh, here's the moral of the story, y'all. All this extra shit that I feel, having no patience and a little bit of tolerance and all this other shit, being angry and wanting to defend myself, ending up playing the victim role and playing right into these manipulating people's hands and all this extra shit. All that is connected to my inner child. Okay? Y'all want to talk about generational curses and all this other bullshit. Talk about your inner child. That little part of your ego that keeps the bullshit together. You know what I realized uh, yesterday and today? That in the year 2020, my inner child needs to grow the fuck up. Yeah. Mine. I can't give a fuck about what your inner child do. <laughs> That's just not quite possible anymore. Fact. And of course, I'm not talking about, you know, people out there that know me or give a shit. You know, you give a shit about yourself, that's enough. That's enough, yo. It only takes one. And if you got to be that one, then be that one. But I ain't gonna set up in delusion no more. I'm gonna do as little of that as possible. Let me not say no more because I'm asking for something impossible and perfect and I ain't reaching perfect. I'm reaching balance. I'm gonna still say some shit. I'm gonna still be in whoever shat the fuck I like. I, I'm gonna still do it. And I'm gonna still talk it up. You know? If you don't like it, don't like it, yo. God bless you, God bless me. <laughs> God bless us all, everyone, right? Those who need to ask me will ask me, and they'll always get an honest answer. Remember, the truth stands alone. You ain't got to like the truth. 
Most people don't. And the truth is boring too. Don't forget that, y'all. Hmm. Don't forget that. Okay. And I'm also learning that karma is such a powerful creature that you only need to say things once and then you just let karma pop and you know you see the dissemination of the Maya of the illusion and then it's on point and you can see very clearly when I sit in my meditation and I ask myself who I am I start that I'm a black woman. And that instantly hits me to the goddess energy. And sometimes I ask, who am I? And I think of all the other names that I've been called. Before I used to succumb to that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, you are, you are, you are. Now, if I meditate on that bullshit, I'll be like, yo, who said that about me? And the universe always responds, you've heard words from better people, <laughs> okay? And if you can survive them, look at what the what? What are these people gonna do? <laughs> really, problems? Really? Y'all, man, focus on what you got to focus on. You know what I'm saying? This is why yana yoga is so important. You can't concentrate on bullshit and then expect to have the focus give you a certain result. It's not going to happen, y'all. Let your inner child think about it because, you know, I don't want to tell people what to do. <laughs> I make way too many happy suggestions. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want the universe to give y'all no cosmic jokes. <coughs> now ask your inner child one day, if you ever decide to meditate and you want to meditate on something, meditate on your inner child. Here's the technique. Meditate on your inner child and ask your inner child, do you want to grow up or you want to be a Toys R Us kid for the rest of your life? Because remember, the universe don't talk to you, children. The universe might bring forth a vessel to give you a message and a teaching and a blessing and a lesson, but the universe don't talk to you the way you want it to. The universe show you most times, okay? And if I gave a fuck about the inner workings of these YouTube streets, I'd probably be the motherfucking president by now. I don't care, man. I don't care. I don't care about these petty ass beefs. Hey, they entertain it for the most part. And I will apologize if anybody's real life becomes my entertainment and you are offended by that. But you know what we all say to a certain channel holder that, that cries that all the time? Don't put your shit out there, right? Yeah. Ooh, 19 minutes. I like the quick stuff, y'all. I like to be quick draw McGraw. McGraw. <laughs> la, la. I don't want to cut over, but it's okay. It's okay. We can continue walking here. All right. So, yeah. Y'all stay blessed as shit. You know. Take it easy. You know what? Here's another happy suggestion, y'all. Go live your real life, y'all. For real. Go live your real life. Don't rely on this shit to make you money or to give you honey. <laughs> if you happen to find some honey, some gems, some jewels, yes, hold on for as long as you can. 
But go live your real life for that shit too, yo. Stop getting caught up in the bumper clock matrix, son. Gotta balance this shit out, yo. Word up. Yo, go have sex with somebody, yo. <laughs> go do it a couple times. But do it in fucking succession, yo. And spend like three hours and taking 15 minute breaks, okay? That's what some of y'all need to do. Especially some of y'all that are married. Y'all should be focusing more on one another, okay? As opposed to the fuck shit. You married? Oh, shit. Okay, you, you, you getting tired of somebody? Shit. Figure it the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? What other real life things can you do? Uh, you may have cleaning your house down to perfection. And you may have cooking food down to perfection. You know, you ain't, you ain't got no paperwork to do. You ain't got to go get a checkup or something. <laughs> you got to go. Who got kids? I mean, who got to go pick up some kids? You know what I'm saying? Do you have any way of making money outside of the YouTube? Like, um, why don't you go and do that? And you know, live some real life. Why don't you go to the gym? And I'm not trying to be facetious, okay? I'm just trying to figure out different hobbies you can have. So, you know, you can enjoy some real life. Because the last thing I want out of anybody on these YouTube streets is that your real life is so fucked up that you have to come in the fake life. You know what I'm saying? And live like certain people. I don't want nobody to become like this person. For real, for real. There's a lot of people that's falling into the trap. <coughs> oh, 22 minutes. I'm walking fast, y'all. I ain't even in no rush. I'm just used to shit. Yeah, I missed walking. You know, put this over my face. Yes, y'all. Okay, I'm out. That's it. That's all. And don't try to figure out who the fuck I'm talking about. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make a difference. Okay? Everybody be blessed. Stay blessed and somewhat fresh, all right? And make sure your whole life fresh, all right? Bye.